I'm Jonathan Van Tam, Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Department of Health and Social Care. I'm joined, as usual, by June Rain, to my left, Chief Executive of the MHRA, and on my right, by Professor Wei Shen Lim, uh, Chair of the COVID-19 Vaccine Subcommittee of the JCVI. If I may, I will open with a few remarks, <clears throat> and then I'll pass to Dr. Rain, and then to Professor Lim. So, we've known from the outset of this pandemic that variants have always been inevitable, and we've seen many come, and the names include Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, with which you will all be familiar, and there are others. When a variant appears, it always causes initial concern, because at that point, we don't know quite how it will behave, and in particular, we don't know how our vaccines will hold up against that variant. And it's always been the case that at some point, we've always said it, we are going to get a variant that gives us heightened concern. And we are at that moment with Omicron. It is the new kid, new kid on the block for now. And I think it's true to say that scientists around the world, not just in the UK, unfortunately agree that this one is of increased concern. But in acknowledging that concern, I want to be very clear and I want to emphasise the very high degree of current uncertainty in our knowledge. There are far more things we don't know yet than things we do know. Now that is going to change very rapidly as scientists around the world mobilise on this over, I predict, the next three weeks. But please, everyone needs to give us time to assemble that data. What we can say, um, in terms of the things that we're certain of at this point, that the Omicron variant has many mutations. Some of them are ones which we already know something about, and some of them are new. But the number of mutations present already on first principles makes us worry about a possible effect on vaccine effectiveness. The other thing that is certain at the moment is that in South Africa, there is definitely an elevated growth rate associated with the Omicron variant. That is not the same as saying there is definitely an increase in transmissibility compared to the previous Delta variant that they experienced. That is a piece of science that still needs a bit more work. And so the uncertainties are transmissibility, severity of disease, where there is no definitive signal at this point from South Africa. But we should all note that even without increased severity, as the case numbers grow, then hospitalizations will also grow. And finally, on the effects of the new variant and how well vaccine effectiveness will hold up, here I want to be clear that this is not all doom and gloom at this stage, and I do not want people to panic at this stage. If vaccine effectiveness is reduced, as seems pretty likely to some extent, the biggest effects are likely to be in preventing infections, and hopefully there will be smaller effects on preventing severe disease. But that is something that is there for scientists to work out in the next few weeks. There is also some science, which um, Professor Lim will refer to in more detail, that higher antibody levels protect better than lower antibody levels. And, and, and I know that Professor Lim will come back to that. So for the meantime, whilst we work this out, there are two basic things that the scientists will have to do. The first is to get some live Omicron virus and test that against the blood samples from people who've already been double vaccinated and people who've been double vaccinated and then boosted. And that will be part of the data picture that comes together to tell us exactly what's going on 
with vaccine effectiveness. And the other piece that can be done is epidemiological studies, which, as you know, involve very large numbers of people, and you also need large numbers of cases. And at the moment, the only place that those kind of studies can realistically be done um, are in South Africa, and there we rely on the World Health Organization and the South African public health authorities, who are truly excellent, and I hope they will get us an answer soon. And on that point, I think we have to again um, pay tribute to um, the excellence of South African science and the transparency of the authorities there in helping bring this problem to the world's attention at the earliest moment they possibly could have done so. So that's the kind of backdrop, if, you, if I may, um, to the announcement that will be made um, in just a moment or two.